Moldova is a country sandwiched in between Ukraine and Romania. Um, and as we know, Ukraine is kind of in crisis right now. It's a horrible thing, which didn't happen, even though I consider myself a go pink. It's a horrible thing. Let's be real. Oh. And there's something that happened with Moldova. Um, hey, hey, Russia, can you, like, not, like, invade Ukraine, please? Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. I could not not. Um, well, for it. Alright, I guess I'm fine then. I'll just sanction you. Oh, what's this piece of paper? So yeah, Russia might invade Moldova. That was a very accurate representation right there. So uh, yeah, if Moldova can't get into the EU or NATO, um, they will definitely be screwed because, uh, you know, invasion. <sighs> and if they do get in there and they still go from plan boom, we got World War III. So hopefully this doesn't happen. I don't think anyone wants this to happen other than Putin, to be honest, but whatever. Ooh, what can he do with um, nuclear power? Just, um, basically another dictator here. And I also filmed some stuff on what if they were to keep going. So here we can kind of see what might happen. This is just all kind of, just a bit of a guess. Um, so let's say, uh, so let's uh, get Russia here and let's say that they're able to eventually, uh, what about Ukraine? And uh, with this, they will be on on the Moldovian border. Um, so if I can actually just freaking connect this stuff, that would be a uh, great. So uh, boom! Now we have uh, Ukraine being part of uh, Russia. So if we can just remove that line, that would be great. So then uh, we might see Belarus and Russia uniting, which can definitely happen. Then we might s then um into the main point of this video, um, the Russian invasion of Moldova. Um, so, Moldova's pretty exposed, and if they can't join the EU or NATO, we can most likely see uh, something like this happening. And we'll also see lots of bombardments with uh, air and naval forces. Actually, Moldova's landlocked on mine. Um, and we might be seeing like some kind of encirclement tactics over here. Um, and we have fierce Moldovan resistance, but I don't think we'll be able to hold... Um, Moldova is even smaller than Ukraine, so, uh, yeah. So then, uh, yeah, Moldova no exist anymore. And then, what could Russia invade next? Um, it's a bit of a hard, uh, choice. I guess, uh, we might, um, considering most of the other countries are NATO members, and what the fuck? Oh, it's Black Sea, okay. Um, we could definitely see, uh, God, these seas are freaking off my mind. We could definitely see an invasion of Georgia. Um, we already know Russia's in Georgia. So we might see, like, uh, some spearheads going down here. A bit of an encircling movement right here. And also, like, uh, some more captured territories. So, um, we can just, like, see eventually Georgia will fall. Probably if this happens, sadly. Um, and then we'll see another annexation. And it, it's just getting worse and worse. And I don't think they would attack Azerbaijan because then that would lead to war with Turkey. Um, it might unite with Kazakhstan, po possibly. Uh, or they it might be by diplomacy or by force, who knows. Because Kazakhstan and Russia are pretty cool with each other, surprisingly. Um, and I don't really know what else we could see from beyond here. We might see, like, an invasion into uh, the Stan countries, which would lead to the annexation of all of them and anyway, they would basically just be trying to recreate their soviet borders so we can see a big dip down so now we have what's basically another soviet union we might see a bit of an invasion into iran which would actually get a lot some support so we might see a russian annexation of iran now this is like if russia were to keep going with military like it's a bit far-fetched but you know if they were to keep going and going and going and going um i don't think we like like i said no real like nato things before they can uh maybe before they can join nato he, they might eat up finland which uh i think they might be in the eu 
Yeah, no, but I'm sure she was in it. Oh, never mind. It, um, Finland's in the EU, so no Finland annexation there. Um, you know, if we can pull up the NATO map, we can see that, uh, the Baltic, um, countries, Balkan countries, aren't really, uh, in NATO that much. I mean, because obviously some of, see some of them, but in actuality, there's not really much of them in here. Like, Bosnia, Serbia, Kosovo, and, uh, North Macedonia, and stuff like that. Um, so, right here, I think we could see the end of Russia's conquest if they were to stop, but I feel like, and I, yeah, I don't think they would invade Iran, but they might annex Mongolia, and something that could definitely happen is them, um, taking, uh, Syria. So, uh, they might make it, like, some kind of puppet out of Syria, because we all know that Russian troops are in Syria. So, like, you know, there's that, so that might, that, that has a high chance of happening. I would think. I'm pretty sure this is Syria. So, uh, yeah. Maybe a puppeted Syria or something like that. And from this point, if Russia were to actually go this far, I don't really see any other countries they could realistically get. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the video. So, basically, this whole thing, I'm, I'm, this whole video, I'm kind of just saying, like, it shouldn't be this hard to join NATO or the EU. Because a lot of countries are kind of getting screwed by it i mean i know it's kind of in the constitution and everything yada 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 but you know if there's a country that's in crisis that's about to be in crisis you should get them in there especially if it's being attacked by one of your biggest enemies and it's close to you so i don't see any point why moldova will not join couldn't can't join the eu or nato and I just wanted to make this video because I don't really see that many people talking about it. I mean, most people are focused on Ukraine right now. But I'm kind of, I kind of want to see how this Moldova thing plays out. Because I hope they get in the EU, which they aren't, by the way. Um, and just, yeah, if they don't get in, they're kind of screwed because Ukraine's one off pretty well. But Moldova is even smaller than Ukraine, so I don't know how well they'll be able to hold off. And also, that'll mean that even that Ukraine people that went to Moldova will have to flee again and they probably already should leave again because it's this whole thing is just a, tor a horrible thing that's happening right now and I generally feel for all the people out there that are having to like leave their homes and having their homes bombed and like lost family it just sucks and it, I kind of wish I could the, the only thing that I can really do is just kind of sit here report on stuff and donate what I can to charities and it sucks, so, and I think, but I think if we all work together and kind of just, you know, donate, I think, you know, Ukraine will be able to hold out just a little longer. So, yeah, I'm gonna link a charity down below, um, where you can donate to it. It's really cool. So, yeah, I don't really know what to say. I'm kind of just trying to stretch this video out a little bit so it can reach the time limit. Because, like, I want to get as much out of this footage as I can from, for the gameplay. So, I guess I'll, like, uh, just give a little up to the channel right now. So, I think most of you can see I'm once again kind of switching my content, and that's how I usually do this. I usually stick on something for about a month or two, and then I just jump ship just because I lose interest. But I think, I think I'm going to stick around this kind of Russian thing for a while, especially considering that there's just so many updates on it. And if more plans get leaked that, that Russia's going to invade something else, um, you know, there's going to be a video on it. And I will say, um... I, I did do a, I did do some pretty good research on this, so I'm pretty sure it's true. But I will say, take this entire video with a grain of salt, because you know who knows with Russia. Um, and even if Moldova doesn't join the EU, it's a possibility that Russia won't even invade them anyways, because you know it's not really a surprise attack with the, you know the plans or lead. I mean, I guess the attack on Ukraine wasn't really a surprise attack. I mean, it was, but you know what I mean, like. There was Ukraine troops at the border and everything, so and everyone kind of just expected it. Russia's part of U Ukraine is once part of Russia. We're simply taking it back. Mongolia is in the same logic. LOL. So yeah, that's basically all the video. <laughs> See, I guess once again, like and subscribe and share with your friends because that helps a heck of a lot. Because once the channel is monetized, which we still have a long way to go, but you know, it we'll, we'll get there eventually. Which is 1,000 subscribers and. 4,000 hours of watch time in a year. Um, so yeah, when I get monetized, like I said, I'll do research in the charities that I'll donate to. 
but I will I will definitely say the charity that that's right now in the description is 100% real. So uh, um, I guess I'll see you all soon. I'm the American Go Pink Pink Control Y Team. Subscribe to my second channel, Warden Check. Adios. <coughs>